Are we rocking? Okay. Oh, I set that up. Okay. I'm Iman Shumper, NBA champion, husband, father, lyricist. You see me getting my fists off in that NBA tunnel. But now, I'm the drip director. Uh, welcome back for another episode of Drip Director. Of course, myself, Iman. Uh, we have Rox Brown. I apologize, Rox. I don't have the green when the match you was at, but. What kind of bottoms you got on? No, I didn't really make sense, but, uh, you know. Fire. Ha, ding, ding. All right. All right, Rox, you ready? Today, I'm going to be styling a cool couple, Corey Wash and Mellow X. Mello is a talented songwriter, producer. Corey is a model and visual artist. They already have their own pretty cool eclectic style, so today I'm just gonna be suggesting some pieces. Hi, I'm Corey Wash. How you doing? I'm Mello X. Three words to describe my current style. Um, hmm, one word is moody, another word is comfortable, and extra. Three words to describe my current style. First word that comes to mind is dad. I knew you were supposed to say that. <laughs> and then I would say, I gotta say Jamaican. Like, is that a word? Did I count as word? <laughs> yes, there you go. Jamaican, because you know, I always have this the element. The last would be random, you know, because every now and then I'll, I find a piece that just like sticks out from anything else I, I wear. If I had to throw in just like a, a bonus word for you, it would be Brooklyn. <laughs> We're excited to have you guys. I love the, the earthy vibes, like the phrase. I love that. I love that. It works. Thanks for having us. I'm going to throw it back to you, Rox, and let me know what everybody's wearing and how we I think that Mello and Corey have great individual styles. So first, you know, we got a lot of cozy hoodies. As you know, we're in quarantine, which is why we're doing this over some, I'm wearing like the good forest green. But for you guys, um, you know, I have, I know you guys have a child and, you know, it's a lot of running around and taking care of kids. Corey, just tell me a little bit of what your day-to-day -day looks like chasing your, your toddler around. I wake up about an hour after these two. I'm usually wearing a hoodie. <laughs> Some type of like oversized t-shirts. I'm usually in the morning, I'm like as comfortable as I can be. That's perfect. Those are the kind of pieces I have for you today. This like Gap uh, sweatsuit, pumpkin spice vibe going on, cozy vibes, and if you have to run out, you know, take the baby to the park or something, I got this good jacket for you. But, you know, I'm gonna let you put it on the way you yeah. put it on. So, okay. Yeah, for sure. All right, so I'm gonna get dressed. I said you wake up. Uh, what, what's early? Like 6 a.m. Does being a parent of a toddler affect your style? Like oh, yeah, definitely dad vibes, you know. Gotta find that hoodie I could wear every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm back. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. I love it. You know what I'm saying? This, oh, this jacket? Oh, this one right here? <laughs> I feel like, the, you know, like the jogging suit is like good. You know, you could get up out of bed, you could walk around the house and that, and like when it's time to go outside, you just throw the jacket on and it makes it a whole look. Yeah, I'm with it. I'll probably just throw some shades on or like a cowboy hat. <laughs> yeah. Just like cowboy hats, where you from? I, I'm from Baltimore, actually. <laughs> But I just... Where did that come from? What trip did y'all take? Tell me the story where you, you start like a cowboy I didn't know that I liked cowboy hats. But he had one laying around and I was like, let me just try this on. And then I instantly felt like a chief. So I felt like the man in charge around these parts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, and then I just started going to thrift stores and then I would just see a cowboy hat. You could, you know, add your own personal flavor to it with the cowboy hat. For, for you, Mello, I got like something similar to Corey's look, but I got like this. Yeah, y'all a couple, man. You got to match. You got to match a little bit. So I got like this, you know, kind of like tan, I guess I would call it. Kind of the same color that Iman has on. We you don't look like a team. It's cool, man. And I also have these joggers. They're not really sweats. They're kind of like pants. So they're like khaki joggers, but they still got the like scrunchy bottoms okay. and the you know, the adjustable waistband. And I'm a pair with some like cool socks just so you could chill I, in the house. 
I be running through socks, so I need like 10. <laughs> Yo, Yo. socks just disappear all the time. Oh, no, no, no. My toes run through the socks. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, really, I need like five and things. What is something that you hate in his closet? Oh, oh my gosh, he had this really bad um, hoodie. It had this like huge mesh like kangaroo pouch, and he would literally put like everything. He would put his life in there. That so was like his thing too. So it was that like, was his oh, thing. Like, he would just be like, "Cool, where my hoodie at?" And I'm like, "Yo." <laughs> <laughs> so off my fit. What's up, big guy? Say hi. Say hi, Papa. Yeah, he like, what my hoodie? <laughs> you feeling quarantine cozy in your fit, Mello? Hoodie might be a little tight, feel me? Might need some, like, little oversized. The mm -hmm. socks, though, is, is yeah. Look, he all needs socks. <laughs> Ooh, he's just <laughs> fire socks. gap, yo, gap, the socks. <laughs> yo, he's trying to get a care package of socks. Care <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, get that man some stuff. <laughs> I feel like those are just like easy things that you know you could put together and do great. I would like to see what you guys like, you know, just go in a rack and put together what you want to put together so I can see how you style it. This thing y'all about to pull up, y'all outside, you know what I'm saying? This is like my everyday. Like, you seem comfortable in that. It's like that 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 logo is like nostalgic of like me being I remember I had to have yeah. I had to have the Gap logo on all of my stuff. You ready, Bella? The thing is that these look supposed to be versatile. So this is the look you picked. This is Camden. This is a store run real quick. You know what I'm saying? Go outside for a walk with my son. So that's like the good thing about like all, like these like gap hoodies and stuff like that. Yeah, everything's comfortable and soft. Stay in your room, because they got real pastel in here. Now we can match. <laughs> oh, now we the power in we're supposed to be. See, why I want to get that hoodie. So you guys are students, you don't get this just yet. The graduation day you get these, I told you it's a university. Y'all gonna say anything and not get the same hoodie. I'm gonna see if we can. Sliding that with the socks. <laughs> These socks, man. Right <laughs> <laughs> I got that entire, you know, holiday gap collection. You got the collection of cozy hoodies if you want to stay in the house. You know, we told y'all how to make it versatile today. You can throw a flannel over, a jacket, throw a chain on, a beanie on. Iman and I led you in the right direction. Iman, how you feeling? Any way you pick today has you set for anything that you have today, whether if you take care of the kids whether it's uh, leaving out to go to the studio, uh, both of your respective studio spaces. I'm glad I got you some socks, Mello. We try to flood the crib with socks. <laughs> I just want to thank y'all for coming up to the show. Yes, Thanks for having you. us. Appreciate it. We feeling the cozy look as a team. I'm going to go ahead and put my hand in. Are we rocking? Like, okay. Um, are we okay. doing that? Hey, set that up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like that. She feel warm. Happy holidays, y'all. Happy holidays. Come on. Happy holidays. Come on. Yes. Okay. Now I feel it. Bring the energy with the happy holidays. <laughs>